this video covers topics relevant for everybody who is working with RTC Draft as a project or server administrator. When creating a new multi-user project, there are two things to deal with. First, try to think of a way to break down your project in a way that suits your team size. If you already know how many people will work at the same time at the same project, you can pre-configure the partitioning on the third page of the Create New Project dialog. Second, make sure that you have a Pairforce or Subversion server up and running. If you need a solution that's free to download and easy to set up, you should check out Visual SVN. Furthermore, remember to install the Artisy server on the same machine you're running the Pairforce or Subversion server. Usually it shouldn't be necessary to further configure the Artisy server. But if you have any questions regarding this topic, please see the Artisy server quick reference guide. You need to enter the source control specific data on the fourth page of the Create New Project dialog. Choose between Pairforce or Subversion via the drop down at the top. Everybody who creates a new multi user project is automatically made admin for this specific project. When opening the project for the first time, it opens in exclusive mode. This means that nobody else can open the project at the same time. While being in exclusive mode, all partitions are automatically locked by you, so it becomes easy to restructure the project if you like. Furthermore, it's possible to repartition the project in exclusive mode. To turn a folder or container into a partition, select it and choose Turn into Partition from the toolbar or context menu. It's also possible to retire existing partitions and demote them to usual folders or containers. You leave the exclusive mode automatically when closing the project. To open a project in exclusive mode later on, right click on it in the project overview list and choose Open in exclusive mode. As project admin, you can also edit the project's users. To do so, open the main menu and click on Edit Users and Project. Here you can add and remove users or change the role in the project. To create new users, you have to log in as server admin. This username is fixed and cannot be changed. The factory preset password for the server admin is server admin as well. Be careful with the notation. It's written as one word with a capital S and a capital A. You should change this password as soon as you're logged in. In the administration mode you can, surprise surprise, administrate projects and users. Projects can be activated, deactivated or completely deleted. Deactivated projects stay on the server but don't appear in the project selection screen any longer. Note that only deactivated projects can be deleted. It's also possible to remove all existing logs in a project, but you should be aware of the fact that all unpublished changes will be lost in the process. So, if possible, give your colleagues a chance to publish their changes beforehand. Clicking on Project Stuff lets you assign users to the currently selected project. You can also change the role in the project or remove them again if they don't work on the project anymore. To create new users, click on the third tab. Here you see a list of all existing users. Just like projects, you can activate, deactivate and delete users. Editing users allows changing the displayed username, the password and email address. Make sure to assign a proper RTC license to every created user. At the top you can see how many licenses are currently in use or still available. Use the main menu again to leave the administration mode. 